Wonderful blessings to our presiding bishop, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, our first assistant presiding bishop, Bishop J. W. Macklin, second assistant presiding bishop, Bishop L. M. Wooten, and the general board. And to our conference hosts, thank you, Bishop Michael Golden and Bishop Patrick L. Wooten for spotlighting Bishop W. L. Porter. You know, when I look back at the many rich and awesome memories I have of this man, it always makes me smile and shake my head. Why? Because Bishop Porter, if you knew Bishop W.L. Porter, you would know that he was larger than life. And when I think about it, a phrase comes to mind, a divine setup. I was working at Lane College in Jackson, Tennessee at the time as junior accountant. That was in 1982. I had just become Elder Brandon Porter's Minister of Music, and that's when I had the pleasure to be introduced to Bishop W.L. Porter. Uh, I was relatively new to the Church of God in Christ. My mother was Baptist. My father was a disciple of Christ. I had recently graduated from a Christian Methodist Episcopal College. So as I look back, I I can see now that God had a divine assignment for me in the church of God in Christ. And he used Bishop W.L. Porter as my guide. I didn't know it then, but uh, from that introduction by his son, Brandon, I was getting ready for a glorious journey, which would introduce me to the highest tiers of leadership of the church of God in Christ as a young man and be mentored by the best. Oh my goodness. When it came to the church of God in Christ, in my opinion now, no one was better equipped to properly train me and introduce me to the rich legacy of the church of God in Christ. Bishop W.L. Porter was an extraordinary leader, faithful follower. He was an astute businessman and an integrous steward. He was also a visionary. Not only did he uh, have vision for a great community temple, which he founded, and Central Tennessee jurisdiction, which he organized, he still found time to focus on the national church. He always was by the side of the presiding bishop and leadership, and we just thank God for that. When you pull back the curtain of the Church of God in Christ from conventions to board operations, you will find some visionary DNA of Bishop W.L. Porter. He taught me so much, but most importantly, he modeled to me how to exemplify a great love and concern for the organization as well as the saints of God. You know, because of that introduction, some my goodness, 41 years ago. From that point, my entire life has been steered toward the work of God. Bishop W. L. Porter ordained me, allowed me to uh, assist in the development of the back office for Tennessee Central in its infancy. He introduced me to uh, the presiding bishop, Bishop L. H. Ford, and hired me as the first chief accountant of the Church of God in Christ. My wife Shirley and I have been married for 40 years and she was given the amazing opportunity by my friend and brother Bishop Brandon B. Porter now to serve Central Tennessee jurisdiction as supervisor of women preceding his lovely mother, Mother Mady Flag Porter. 17 years ago, we founded our church, Holy Nation, which is a 48,000 square foot, 7.5 acre campus style facility. And I now serve as superintendent in the jurisdiction which Bishop W.L. Porter organized. I have been blessed. My family has been blessed. And if you knew Bishop Porter, you have been blessed as well. I contribute a considerable portion of it to that divine setup. When I met Bishop W.L. Porter, a churchman, a mentor, a spiritual father, and a great friend. Thank you, my brothers of the Church of God in Christ, for honoring this godly pioneer. God bless.